What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be discussing the new release Gymshark Venture Collection. I'm sure you guys have checked them out. They kind of snuck in their new releases this past month and the Venture was one of them. So if you guys saw the massive haul that I recently did of all the Gymshark new releases, you would see that this collection was one of them. So my first impression was that this collection's primarily for those who kind of go out into the elements. They're very busy bodies, um, maybe walking around New York City, like places where you have the potential to actually get dirty. <laughs> Riding a subway, hiking out in nature, like anything that requires you to kind of get a little scuffed up in a way. <laughs> this collection is a lot of dark, or colors so you'll see that once we get into it but it's definitely a unique collection and it serves a purpose on its own but first if you have not already definitely hit that subscribe button for new weekly videos also follow your girl on the gram for all things fitness daily content there because together we got this all right let's go Alrighty, so if you guys are new to my channel, I do a ton of reviews, a lot of Gymshark because your girl's literally obsessed. So everything you see here will be linked down below, my measurements as well. I am a size small in everything, that's my true to size size. So let's talk the Venture Sports Bra first. Like I said, a lot of darker colors going on in this collection, but the one like real pop of color they got going on is this orange. This is like a real Halloween orange color. Not a vibrant like summer orange, it's more like a fall <laughs> orange. This baby was $45. Ouch! <laughs> this was very expensive, I'm not gonna lie, for a sports bra, even Gymshark. They call this a bralette, but it's pretty much, it's a sports bra. You have the adjustable straps. You have a laser cut pocket on the back and the Gymshark logo in this really, really dark gray, almost black color. I really can't tell if it's dark gray or black. Right along the back of the Gymshark text, you have an entire mesh lining inside. So it's very wicking and it is very breathable. You also have the removable pads. So you have that option. You have a really nice like, Beautiful kind of contour that kind of swoops. You got a little swooping action, a little movement in the front. And you also have a mesh lining underneath. So again, lots of mesh, a lot of breathability. It is relatively low support. I can feel it right here. It's just more on the low support side. This baby's 68% nylon and 32% elastane. So you do have a lot of stretch. It is wicking. You can feel that wicking material. The front here, that isn't the mesh the front is very silky smooth so overall a very comfortable stretchy versatile type of sports bra where you can move around and be very comfortable this is something i would totally wear underneath something definitely do i think it's 45 dollars worth not quite but that's just my opinion again just my opinion for me, I feel like this bra uh, doesn't have any qualities that completely make it a standalone piece that I would say, okay, I need this particular bra. I think a lot of their other sports bras kind of do that for me. So I just feel like this isn't something completely unique where I would spend $45 on. But other than that, for those who really like this color or this kind of design to each his own baby, it's still super cute. All right, now we are talking the leggings, the Venture leggings. This is in the color teal. This is a super dark, like navy blue color, but not as cool tone as a navy blue. It's a little bit warmer. This is a high waist, no band. There's really no band. It's a bunch of geometric style seams. You can see the V contour seams in the front, kind of accentuates the curves, gives that nice illusion. I dig the front very much. This is overall a very stretchy, you can feel the wicking capabilities. It is 68% nylon and 32% elastane, just like the sports bra. So wicking and stretchy, nothing crazy. You know, you got that nylon. So it's very lightweight and breathable. Um, I wish it had a, like its own separate band. I personally like that style, but if, you know, if you're flexible like that, you wanna mix it up a little bit, then Maybe this is for you. This baby was $55, okay? Now they're getting to almost 
the $60 camo leggings. Like, it's getting up there, all right? And I'm sorry, but camo's hard to beat. So, trying these Venture leggings on, I'm gonna be honest with you, they didn't totally flatter me in particular. My body shape, I wasn't like totally sold on the design, but nevertheless, it's different. You do have side pockets, two side mesh pockets, and you have a super high rise seam contour in the back, as you can see. I feel like this looks awkward on me. Gymshark definitely tried to make this collection a little bit of a standalone, different from their other ones by playing with seams. I can see that. They're playing with the different dimensions. Me personally, I'm not a big seam lover to begin with, so you know. They're very opaque, so super squat proof. I had no problem in that department. These did give me a slight camel toe, which is pretty normal when it comes to the seams in the front, you know, girl. But again, I just, I didn't like the band thing. That's what aggravated me. Like, I wish there was some kind of band there. I like that secure feeling. These are a 30 inch inseam, so a tad long on me. I'm usually comfortable with 25 or 26. So, not the end of the world. Um, they didn't feel too long, although I measured it and it is a 30 inch inseam. It's, uh, wasn't horrible. And the ankles are that, like, laser cut, that real... <sighs> of material. There's no fold up, no little rib action. It's just a laser cut. This is a super as well. The ankle actually is cut in such a way where you can see like your ankle bone is exposed. So they played around with curves and lines and angles in this collection. They were a little uh, adventurous in this collection. <laughs> you do have a nice size gusset. So this set is very soft. I'm going to be really honest. These leggings feel Nice and silky. They are very, very comfortable leggings. They fit true to size for me. So overall, uh, you know, it's different. Not completely my style and what I like to wear, but it definitely serves a purpose and the quality is definitely there. So it's a substantial, nice high quality legging. So if you're looking for something a little different outside of the box, be a little different. Maybe these are for you. Okay, so next up we have the Venture long sleeve crop top in like this blue stone color. So you can see a lot of blues. There's gonna be a lot of blacks, a lot of like cool tone colors going on in this collection. So this baby was $30, not terrible for Gymshark. It is a high neck, almost so high that you really do need to utilize the zipper on the back. It has a zipper right in the back, a little awkward to get to, but nevertheless, it's there. So it's kind of like that like high neck kind of chokery look. It is 85% polyester and 15% cotton. So more cottony feel, just a more natural kind of feel, but yet still a slightly wickable, I would say. Breathable, definitely lightweight, absolutely. You can feel the cotton, it's not silky smooth or anything like that. And you do have a minimal Gymshark logo down that like collar clavicle area right here. And it's a dark gray. So again, really cool dark tones going on. The elbows are completely exposed. They're cut in such a way where you bend and they're out. They're out to play. The world sees you. And uh, if you don't mind that kind of thing, this is different. <laughs> I think they expose the elbow for more range of motion, but I don't feel like it's totally necessary, but it is a cool look. It's enough to, make this long sleeve its own. It is a high to low, so you will notice like the front is slightly cropped, the back's longer. This kind of crop isn't totally, for me it's not cropped enough and it's not long enough in the front. It's that kind of awkward area for me where I don't really know what to do with it. <laughs> I'm 5'3", so it's like, you know, that awkward in between. I don't know if I should tuck it in, can I tuck it in? Or is it gonna just kind of come up and then I can't really do anything with it? <laughs> you got, on both sides, the split hem side. This is definitely not something I would wear to the gym. This is more kind of business casual in a way, something I would wear just out. If I was like giving a presentation at school or going to a meeting, but it's like business casual, then this is something I would wear. It's definitely not gym oriented. Same with like the leggings. I wouldn't really want to wear them at the gym. You feel me? This is definitely designed for streetwear, more uh, industrial vibes going on here. Okay guys, now we have the crop tank in orange. This is so similar to the Breeze Lightweight Crops because it has the draw cord. So again, you have that same orange, very Halloween-y, and now you have the draw cord, which is black, so now you're really talking Halloween vibes. So I like draw cords. I think they're so 
cool in the sense that you can wear them any which way. You want it looser, more boxy, cool. You want to draw cord it up, have a little more cinched, awesome. You can do both. I am digging this. I wish it came in more colors, please, for the love of God. I think this square neck line is different. It's unique and you don't see this anywhere. You also have like this triangular mesh in the front to break it up. You have the backing, which is open. It's got that overlap open. And again, the Gymshark logo on the back, nice and dark. These are drop sleeves, baby. You got a lot of room. You can sweat it out in. This is totally a like athleisure kind of top for sure, because it still has the cotton, the same material as the shirt you just saw. So polyester and cotton. So totally more just something to you know wear with some jeans or something. You definitely could work out in this, but there is more of a chance of some sweat stains showing off if you sweat a lot. So keep that in mind. Maybe something to warm up in would be nice. You could wear it to the gym if you want. This baby was 30 bucks, so about average for Gymshark, I would say, you know? I personally would like this better if it was in a different color. The orange is cool, but it's like not something I would wanna wear all year round, especially with that black contrast drawstring cord. I'm looking like a freaking jack-o'-lantern up in here. All right, guys, we got the Venture Pullover hoodie in teal. So right off the bat, I'm like, I could feel that this ain't the cozy vibe hoodie, all right? This ain't something you can snuggle watch Netflix in. This definitely has, woo, in the elements. Like if you live in a rainy area, wear this hoodie. You live in Seattle, wear it. <laughs> All right, so this hoodie it has a snood neck, so you automatically have that neck coverage right there. So if you live in a windy area as well, ooh, nice hood, very light, like it. This whole thing is super lightweight. This baby was $50, not horrible, you know, hoodie. So in the front here, you have, uh, you have this like draw cord again. All right, but here's the thing is, I see what they wanted to do to make it more form fitting, more baby doll look, but it kind of looked weird. It looked funky when I actually drew it in. It just looked like, you know, it was just bunched up awkwardly. <laughs> so I didn't really see the purpose in it. I'd rather it just be loose and just kind of hang out a little bit, you know. There's no pocket like a hoodie where you can put something in here, a water bottle or whatever. So uh, there's no pocket like that, but you do have a hidden zipper pocket up here on the clavicle. Awkward spot. I don't even know what, what did you put chapstick in there maybe and then just grab it when you need it, stick a gum. This has a high to low as well. They like that cut. There's a lot of cuts going on. So high to low, again, same as the shirt. My height is a little, little awkward length. <laughs> this baby's 48% cotton, 46% polyester, and 5% elastane. So you do have the stretch, slight wicking, but mostly cotton. So again, no silky smoothness here. It's more cotton, just basic cotton. You also have a draw cord right here on the scoop neckline. <laughs> so you can draw it in really nice and close to your neck. So I see some features here that are kind of kind of cool, but then some that just kind of serve no purpose in my opinion. Um, again, dark logo down the sleeve, like barely noticeable blends right in. And a lot of the seamed contour, again, you have it like breaking up the arms, you have it a little more of that angular contoured seam on the back, a lot of like arrow type of designs. So again, definitely somebody who travels a lot, somebody who's taking that subway, entering the elements of the outdoors. Maybe it's a light and misty day, slight rain in the forecast. <laughs> yeah. My honest opinion, I'm not sold on this hoodie and I don't really find that I would have much use for it, honestly. Um, I've seen, definitely I've seen better from Gymshark, but that's just my opinion. The draw cord in the front just kind of ruined it for me. I don't know. I need a purpose for everything. And if I see something that doesn't really fit, what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> All right, guys, next we have the Venture Joggers in black. So, oh, I got a lot to say about these babies. Um, Straight up, the material is like snow pants, okay? If you feel that feeling where, where you get it wet, but it's gonna wick real fast, girl. These babies are high-waisted. They come to a nice height on me. I like it, that, that it, it makes me feel super sporty wearing these. Um, you do have a draw cord again, um, just to cinch in a bit, you know, around the waist. You have the buttons and the zipper in the front. From, from the front, it honestly looks like dress pants, like that I used to wear at my job. <laughs> so uh, you straight up could wear these in a presentation, in my personal opinion. They won't be skin tight, they're like jogger, 
but they're still, they can, you could get away with this, man. At a business meeting, I think you could. Unlike the sweater you just saw, these draw cords do serve a purpose because if you cinch them in, they can act as a belt. I really like that. I see a huge purpose, a great feature on these. You have two nice size pockets, again, giving it that super like formal look, but yet so sporty. <laughs> I tried squatting around in these. Uh, they, they're very squat proof, very opaque. And dude, I'm gonna be honest with you, they're comfortable enough and, and, and roomy enough to wear to the gym, I would. The inside of these pockets are mesh, completely breathable mesh. You also have hidden pockets on the side. You wouldn't even notice, they look like part of the seam, but they're zippered. I like the ability to have zippered items in and then loose, like you put your car keys up here, so. Ooh, this like these joggers are very they got a lot going on all right they have many many purposes here there's no gusset on these just so you know these babies are 28 inch inseam slightly long on me but what i really really appreciate about these is the fact that they have velcro and a strap here kind of tighten it up a little bit so you take a boot cut and you turn it into more of a fitted ankle so Absolutely, if you're wearing like, I'm not even kidding when I say, you can wear boots with this and have it boot cut, or you can wear high heels with this and have it nice tight around the ankle. Like, whoa, these are 88% polyester and 12% elastane. So again, super wicking, zero cotton here and very stretchy, you have that stretch. These make me feel like I'm about to go to a hip hop class and learn choreography. That's how I felt when I wore it with the black sports bra. I felt like, Jessica Alba in Honey, okay? Where I'm just about to bust some moves that I don't even know, and I'm about to feel myself. So in all honesty, I, I'm kind of digging these joggers because really I haven't had the best experience with Gymshark joggers, and these are these are cool. These are really cool. These are the farthest thing from like the normal traditional joggers where it's like cottony and warm and soft. This is not that. This is not something you want to study in and cuddle up, watch Netflix. This is something you want to wear on the go, spill some coffee on it, no worries. It is, woo, it's got that wick. I mean, really, if it's rainy out, if it's windy out, you're good in these. They were $50, and normally I would think that's overpriced, but because you could do so much with this, I, in all honesty, I would probably say, my personal opinion, this is the favorite. This is my favorite piece out of everything, I think, yeah. Because these have the most versatility in them and the most purpose. Like for me, I would find more value in these than anything else. You also do, like all the rest of the items, have a lot of seamed contour. That same like pyramid shape contour going around, break up, nice things like that. So yeah, overall, these are cool. Last but not least. We have the matching, matches the joggers perfectly, Venture Jacket, $70. Ow, hell no. I'm sorry, for $70, I better have like this massive, like I can enter any kind of environment and I'm protected. This baby's like a glorified windbreaker. Same material, same everything as the joggers you just saw, identical. You have the button down all the way with the zipper underneath. You have a lot of pockets, hidden zippered pockets all over. You have a breakup of mesh towards the elbow, little breathability, a nice hood, nice light hood with a draw cord on there as well. Kind of cinch the hood, I guess. <sighs> there is an almost invisible pocket on the wrist here. It's zippered and Gymshark says it's for people on the go like who, has, who have cards, credit cards, uh, key cards, things like that you need really fast access to. Uh, so that's what that is for. You have the same Velcro around the wrist as you did the ankles on the joggers so you can adjust it to have more form fitting around your wrists. It is a crop too. It's got like more of a high to low. So it's higher in the front than the back. Clearly, you've seen a trend on what I feel about that. It looks, it's just an awkward fit for me. And for a $70 jacket, I i don't want that awkwardness. I'd rather it just be a freaking full length. Just give me full, just give me it, just give me it. The logo on here is a light gray down the arm. Again, nothing else, no Gymshark, no shark face, just the Gymshark text. The thing I'm kind of weirded out by are these like pockets on the side. You have a, a side pocket here, 
and you have a pocket right here they're abnormally large with the draw cord but when you do cinch in the draw cord itself it literally looks like certain parts of your jacket are just bunched up awkwardly so i don't really know the purpose of that i did read somewhere that you can fold this jacket up into a ball into itself and use the draw cord so that it looks like a little ball but i haven't figured out how to do that and i can't do it like i can't fold this baby up it just doesn't happen so but with the versatility factor the meaning behind this entire collection if you can figure out how to do that then it, it makes sense to have a little jacket on the go. Everything here is just meant to be super like convenient and work for you basically. So I see what Gymshark was trying to do. If you are a commuter, you go to school in the city or you're just very on the go active person. You don't really care about wearing bright extravagant colors. You just kind of want to get stuff done and not worry about what you're wearing. You know, worry about like spilling things and, and trying to, eh, you know, cause I know with like vibrant beautiful activewear i'm always like tiptoeing around everything this is not that collection this you can kind of just like rough it up a bit go outside not care me personally me personally at the end of the day here i totally see the the purpose behind this entire collection i get it i think jim shark was really smart to come out with something like this i love that they include all types of active people i wouldn't necessarily find much purpose in this kind of active wear, but that's just me. I work from home and I don't go nowhere and I got no life, so I don't think I would really wear any of this. <laughs> I might have been on the subway like one time and that's it. I don't do anything, so I mean, what, what would I do with it? <laughs> really? Okay, guys, so that was the full review of the Gymshark Venture collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you do have any questions, definitely hit me up. Comment down below. Let's chit chat. If you tried this collection, let me know your thoughts, okay? I know it's definitely hit or miss, and it's definitely not the traditional Gymshark what we're used to, so please keep that in mind. It's it's his own separate, mm, you know, its own separate purpose, but gotta hand it to him. Definitely unique. Just not my thing. It's all good. And guys, like I said, I will have every single item you saw here today linked below just so you could take a closer look. My measurements, everything. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for new videos just like this every single week. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.